about uh, Will Turner. You play with that? Yeah, I played with him on that game. You beat me with him? Yeah, lost to him. Oh, shit. What about Washington? I think I'm a quarterback on that team. So he going to be on here with our picker? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you got drafted with Washington. Well, I was on the team that. Yeah, except you. Fuck it. We're going to roll with it. Right. We're going to roll with the 3-5. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blue. Welcome to Orlando, Florida, where the world's vacation capitals is fired up. And here on the campus of UCF, this crowd is ready to go to work in support of the Knights. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun. We'll see the number four team in the country. See you. Set time for one hour and 58 minutes. From the Big 12. The UCF One hour, the Chris Fowler here in the Oh, hell. Brain? The goddamn game I'm playing. We're playing against a whole nother nigga. Let me know what that is. We've been with law. I've been playing the game ever since Donald Titan shut down. Jump starts inside the 15. And he's brought down after a decent return out of the 31. So Oregon's will get the first crack on offense today. And as this quarterback right, takes the field, eager to see how he plays today. There's a certain gravity about him. You can tell from the hey, walk song how the team responds and rallies around him. Can he come through on a big stage here? Yeah, this guy is their Superman. And when that opening kickoff is kicked up into the air, his cape goes on. He sets everything into place, gets the offense out of jams, doesn't pressure situations. He's the arms and legs of this offensive system, but also the heart of this team. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Looking for his big tight end. Oh, nigga, you shit me. The connection falls incomplete. Mm -hmm. You just have too much time in your hands. You end up thinking way too much. It's your hands a little shaky. On well, the opening drive, it's now third and four. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go, and now fourth down. The All the time out. Timeout. Some of the coach didn't like about this crucial <coughs> play coming up. So here we go. They're going to go for it on fourth and inches in their own territory. 
The Ducks are looking to keep this drive going. I can really appreciate this offensive coordinator not trying to just do something crazy. You're less than a foot away from the first down. <clears throat> just punch it in and pick up a first down. That's what they call here, and it works out perfectly. This nigga going right Goes back backwards, it. losing three yards there. Chris, this is what I love to see from a defense is the linebackers are scraping doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Here's the second down play. And he's pushing out of bounds after a short run. Not enough for a first. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap and Deep shot. Ah, he's, ah, ah, he's very lucky that was intercepted here on the only possession. I'd like to have that one back. He's going to bring up fourth down. Oh, a big decision here very early. They're going to go for it on their own side of the 50 on the first possession. Trying for a fourth down completion. Contact as he let the ball go. Incomplete, a huge fourth down stand by this defense. Knights <coughs> offense gets their first yeah, crack now. And here play. we go, Kirk. This matchup on the edge is going to go a long way to deciding this game. An elite wide receiver. Yeah, that's what I put. Doesn't believe anybody can beat him. This is going to be like a boxing match where it's an all-out battle. Two extremely gifted athletes competing on every snap. Better get your popcorn ready. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. <clears throat> him behind the line for a loss of one. What makes a really good counter play is selling it to the defense. You're going to go one way and then handing it off in the opposite direction. But if you don't sell it, you're just giving the defense more time to see what's going on. They can come up and make the tackle, just like you saw there. Looking downfield, it's Jefferson. Receiver looks ah. up. It's complete. It it's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. Offense will set up on first and ten. Takes the handoff. It's Harvey. The tackle is made after a four-yard game, so second and six. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down play coming up. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Harvey. Yeah, he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. How about the discipline of this defense here on second down? You're anticipating a pass. They've got pretty much everybody covered. And then once the back has the ball, how about the speed to be able to bring him down? Now it's third down. Now it's third and short from the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. On the run here, let's it go. I don't know, that was a broken play out there, dude. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. <laughs> so we have our first points on the board. That makes it really number <laughs> and it's three points all the same kickoff is fielded inside the 20. gets it to the 25 yard line that's where they start the drive <coughs> and the powerful ducks offense retakes the field hoping to improve in the last drive they got stopped on fourth down and they ended up tossing them a field goal in the first play of the drive now from the 25.
using his legs. It's James. And the run moves the ball over 33. <clears throat> I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Second down after that previous play. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. There's the tackle on first down yardage. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Looking to throw it on first down. Looking for his big tight end. Oh, a nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. This secondary knows how to keep their eye on the football and how to break on the ball. I thought the receiver was open. I thought it was going to be a completion. He gives you an idea of how instinctive and how athletic he is by getting in the way of that and knocking it away. Signs with good throw. Defense reacts quickly. A very short game on the play. The Ducks come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. To the air, it's Gabriel. He's running out of time here. And he's hit just before the throw. Oh, and he dropped it. You don't see that often from this guy. It brings up fourth down. Oh, I see what the quarterback's trying to do. He's holding on to that football to the last possible second to give that play a chance. But he held it just a little bit too long. The defense is able to hit him to force that incompletion. Fourth down, look at a throw for it. And he can't connect the gamble doesn't pay off. This is wow. the chance you take here as an offensive coordinator to play call. You go for it here, you draw it up perfectly, you think this is the right play, and then the execution is not there. So the defense catches a break and they get the ball back to their own offense. First play of the drive, they're gonna throw the football. And he dumps it off to the tight end. And they get him down after the completion. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. Finally stopped at the four. Great catch and run. It's UCF in the lead. At the end of the practice. first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. <laughs> I got to do some practice. <clears throat> a crucial play here to begin the quarter as the offense sets up first and goal. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. And he's got it! Touchdown, UCF! Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All you have to do is get his head turned around. All right, boy. Catch that football. He's already in the end zone. For the it's time, game. man. Handles the tricky footing in the BAT. You see, you're going to get your head out your ass right now. Why is 10 net? Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's a good coverage there. What you gonna do? And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. That last possession, they got stopped on fourth down in their own end. Let's see if they can get it going this time. Handoff here from the shotgun. The game is three. Now it's second down and seven. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. The 
defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Going for inside their own 30. Stopped out at the 39, but good enough for a first down. The trends show guys that are continuing to go for it on fourth down. What's crazy to me, Chris, is deep in your own territory to go for it on fourth down. It's a big risk, but it pays off here. The Ducks will have first and 10 here. And the back now goes in motion. Looking to pass here. And looking for a big play here. Oh, the pass is picked off. I'll be having that time. I got them that they make you afford. He played by the defense back here. You have an idea how tough it can be and how slippery it is out there with this rate. The defense is reacting to the offense. The offense knows exactly where they're going when they're running their route. The defender has to try to be very careful to keep his footing underneath him. Sounds simple, but it's not. To come up with that interception while doing that, that is a big time play. <laughs> nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. Toss play, back heads to his right. Goes backwards, <clears throat> losing three yards there. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Quarterback adjusting out of the defense to throw. It's Jefferson. The pocket breaking down. And he will be stuffed for no game. Well, the defense does a great job here of pressuring the quarterback, but I got to give the quarterback a lot of credit. Instead of taking a negative play, he shows you his athletic ability and fights out and gets all the way back to the line of scrimmage. The Knights will look to convert here on fourth down. Linebackers may be trying to confuse the line with some movement. <coughs> fourth down. He's throwing for it. And here comes a deep shot. Dang! Yo, baby, how you get on that by yourself? Down stop. Oh my gosh, a drop pass yeah. here on this fourth down play. Everything by is perfect. Yeah. The execution is there. The route is nice. The ball is on the money. All he has to do is catch it, and it's a first down, and he drops it. This one could come back to haunt him. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you get a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second and inches. Offense getting set. It's second down. And he'll set up to throw. And they heave it deep downfield. That's right. <laughs> it, it's much easier when you're on defense, man. You just got to stick to any game and go step to the fuck it. Couple of feet. Almost baits the quarterback to throw this football. Jumps it and comes up with a great interception. And here comes the UCF offense back out on the field. The defense got a big fourth down stop in the last possession. Let's see what happens here. Back to throw. It's Jefferson. And he's going to rifle this one deep to the left side. Oh, and nothing but green grass it's ahead. Good. Inside the 10. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> This is this offense. Of course, you know about the receivers and vertical shots, but here's an example. You give the ball to the running back out in space, and it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. 
Devin Hester up and good. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. Man, it's about to be 18. And the return starts from inside the 20. Man, he's brought down after a solid effort on that return. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. This has been a rough first half. They'll have to regroup in intermission. But in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. So the first play of the drive here coming up. Less than two minutes left on the clock. Off the play fake. Looking to throw on first down. Going for a big play downfield. Catch made. It's a big it's play best, inside the 30. <laughs> An explosive play. They finally grab him. But the ball moves inside the 35. <clears throat> Here comes a handoff. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound. What the fuck? Come on, bro. I set up that bitch a red and red and wide receiver with the ball. At the 30, at the 20. I'm not people me just to no more. To the end zone. Touchdown, you see no it. more. I laid the damn ball. He still got it. <clears throat> Yo, practice. And they'll set up for the PAT. Yo, yeah, practice. The same thing you do. Uh-uh. I just didn't listen to this. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Your ass is practice. I looked in here the day you were practice. Oh, I was doing <laughs> nah, nah, nigga, that's a band. Come on here. Dude, I got a scope for hand time. <clears throat> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And he feels it inside the 15. He'll be tapping <clears throat> at the 27. That's where the driver starts. Mm-mm. No, you didn't. Go ahead and practice. Motion by the back. The defense better adjust. And the one part three, they were not even right in the Chris, it's the consistency of this back yeah. is giving this defense yeah, yeah. fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. God dang. The Ducks come to the line in a hurry up. <laughs> Goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. <laughs> Another interception. That's number oh. four today. Are you kidding me? Now look at the return <laughs> after the interception. Sets the offense up in good shape. It's third and long, so as an offensive coordinator, you can either play a conservative or trust your quarterback and take a shot downfield. They elect the latter, and it ends up backfiring on. Suddenly off the interception, it's first and goal for this offense. To throw, it's Jefferson. To screen pass, complete to the running back. Got down, bro, but to blow it up. Still no answer for this offensive machine. This guy has a knack for the end zone, doesn't he? That's two touchdowns for this guy today. I don't know if he's done yet. And the PAT is good. No ass not the outside. Hits all that shit. He's got it inside the 15. Yeah. And the returner will be brought down. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Mm -hmm. First down, we're going to throw the ball. He's looking deep here. Incomplete. I don't know why he throw the ball like that, man. But he's throwing it like that. Second down now. Second down play coming up for this offense. You know how I'm telling you, well, lead the drive, see, he's got to throw it over there. An interception the last series. He almost threw another one. Quick throw over the middle. He's just throwing it like that. That is interception number five as the nightmare. Five interceptions. 
Tackled on the return, and that's how we'll end the first half of play. I gotta get that to draw for the don't do for the Miller's gonna wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A really raucous <coughs> environment there in Orlando. I have it's been a fun start a to this one. And it's all has been really been the story. From, you be, from the time you, you, you get dropped off, from the motherfuckers in practice. Because you just playing on a mobile device, and you and this motherfucker, I look at him, you got the little bean bags up there running right through the motherfuckers and shit. Looks that. like they're lining up to a good kick. Record, good kick, nothing to record. That was it. And the hands seem able to make it. Well, that got to be a big deal. Trying it onside to start the yeah. third with the lead. Yeah, it's if I fucking work. Now we'll see if it comes back to bite. Hello. Okay, so the UCF offense is back out on the field. I'm just going out. Watch a video of this shit like that, but this shit doesn't get me. We got to get the third. Play action here on first down. Receiver makes the grab. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. The Knights are in the red zone. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. Looking to pass, it's Jefferson. This is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. Look at that shit. He didn't even jump. My guy, who I had, I pressed triangle. He didn't do shit. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Attempted onside kick. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job, it's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. It's incomplete that was caused by the defensive pressure, and now it brings up third down. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. Let's it go quickly. Here's another interception. That's it. I ain't can do no more. <laughs> I can't do no more. No. <laughs> hey. I, I'm I'm deserved one. You did three of them. All right. Let's go again. Let's go again, baby. <laughs> I gotta go back to what I know, man. 